Hello and welcome to the additional video to my 2024 Easy FPS tutorial series. Today I'm going to show you how you can make fake volumetric lighting and how to import 3D models. First of all, before we are going to start, I want to show you that this is really the, the Easy FPS version you want to use today. It's Easy FPS Editor Clark Edition which is by the guy named Clark and he is um, happily for the community continuing the development of Easy FPS Editor. And uh, this new Easy FPS Editor has many new features so I highly recommend using this one. It also contains many bug fixes from the past. Okay, so that's done. Here we are. I'm currently running on a development build which will be uh, a live build uh, rather soon. Let's start the process of making um, volumetric lighting for decorations. So this is again just a small example. For this I'm using PaintNet, but you can use literally any drawing software you want. I think GIMP or Photoshop will also work. We are now going to make a really simple street lantern just to show the process of it. Drawing skills at its finest again. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to fill this. This is now our lamp, okay? It's a really improvised lamp, okay? So, this is another important window. Let's copy this yellow area. Write that. and add some blur effect and um, you want to tune it really bright as well and maybe you even want to duplicate this a couple of times so that the effect gets stronger maybe like this yeah or maybe even a third time yeah I think this is good and when you have a nightly scene, this will look like the lamp is emitting uh, light. You know, and I think it, it really looks much better than having it like this. You know? So that's a really simple trick I used quite a, uh, a couple of times. So let's save this. Lantern 1. File format needs to be PNG, that's very important. Okay. And now let's import it into the engine. Lantern 1. Import sprites. Right here. Set the scale. And for um, if we want to have glowing stuff in Easy FPS Editor, you have to untick this box which is called lit. So it's not lit by the engine. So it can shine on itself, you know. And I'm just placing these lanterns. And as you can see, this is just a really simple example. Let's maybe change the fork a bit. Yeah, 
spiders. You see what I mean? A really cool example of this uh, fake volumetric lighting was in my older projects. Let me just take a look where it is. I think it was scratch made test or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, this is actually my first ever easy FPS editor project. This must have been two years ago or something like that. Yeah, let's just quickly run it. Here we are. New game. Ah, yeah. You can ignore this weapon. The agency hired us to cleanse this nuclear power plant of mutants. You see, this is a really cool example of using those f fake volumetric lights. You can uh, fake some light rays like this. And it looks really cool in my opinion. Also here are those small lights on the ground. Just a small trick to make your game look better, in my opinion at least. Okay. So now let's get to the more complex stuff. Importing 3D models. It's actually not that hard. But you gotta know how to set it up, so I'm uh, including this in this video. And I just learned it today, by the way. So it's really early for me too. So, first of all, you need a decoration. And we are going to name our decoration Car Model 3D. Just for example, you can name it any way you like. Okay. And I didn't assign a texture here, you know. Let's just place it. And now you go to Advanced Tools, 3D Model Configurator. And then you select your car model. You can also have 3D enemies and 3D weapons in Easy FPS Editor now. Select this. Okay, and now we are going to the interesting part. First of all, we are going to need an FBX uh, model file. I'm going to do this from scratch now as well. So just so you can see the whole process. It may be a bit slower, but I think it's worth more actually when you see the whole process. So let's just um, close this for a second or minimize it. Ah, yeah, this is my OBS window. Okay, let's minimize this for now. So we have an FBX file and a color texture. Where you get the model from or if you model it yourself, that's really up to you. So, now we're going to use a software called Gnosis. I will include the download link in the description. Open it. And now you go to open file. We need to select our FBX. And there it is. Yeah, and for some reason the texture isn't showing up. Okay, that's that's an issue. Okay, let's pick a different model for now. Just one second, I'm downloading the right stuff now. <coughs> so before you import your 3D model, the texture have to, has to be assigned in a 3D software. Milkshape works and Blender also works. I'm using Frag Motion and this doesn't work because I need to convert it to uh, object file first because Frag Motion doesn't read FBX. Just use Blender or Milkshape or any anything else. Or 3ds Max, even you know, it's really up to you. But it has to be a competent software of some sort, you know. Okay, so let's let's try a different model. I wanted to have a car in my game, so I have. Um, this file right here, and you can't see it because it's on my other desktop, but it looks like this. This is the texture. And this is the model. 
and the name has to be exactly the same for all of this to work. This is really important. You name your model the same after you name your texture or vice versa, you know. As you can see, this is exactly the same name. All right. You can also use another software to um, convert this to MD3, which is the file format we are going to use for Easy FPS Editor. But uh, Gnosis uh, works also. So we have now um, our car imported, and now we are going to export it. This is the source file and the destination file. We are going to change the name as well because it has to be the same name as the texture as I said earlier. Output type, we are going to change it to MD3. And we are also exporting the texture as well as a PNG. Alright. And for this car I also did rotate 90. So um, it will uh, look like this in the editor itself. It's some trial and error for sure for every model because the origin, uh, you know, the point of origin is different for every model. Export, export complete, close this. And now we are going back to Easy FPS Editor. 3D model configurator, select our decoration we just placed here and now we are going to select our world model which is no. our now exported file called car40md3 hit accept and just look if it works already and yeah as you can see it's there of course you can uh, scale it down because this this is a bit too big but overall it works I know this has been a really rough video compared to my older uh, you know my, my uh, main tutorial but uh, this is uh, really a new area for me as well and I hope it helps And if you're using older Easy FPS editor installations like 1.5 or Lite, this doesn't work properly uh, in terms of the model importing. So please use uh, the new version like CE or, uh, I, you know, I would only recommend using CE at this point. I will also put it in the description. Okay, so I hope this video was somewhat useful at least. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, enhance my skills even more in Easy FPS Editor because it's a really amazing engine. And see you guys next time.